Is this kind of like a family reunion of quarterbacks for you? <laughs> it absolutely is. I mean, the past, the present, the in-between, all the things. But, you know, to be here with Steve up on the stage, a guy that I grew up watching, idolizing, and then the fortunate opportunity to be his teammate for a season, then watching Alex Smith, what he went through as a 49er, and then what he did in his career moving through the NFL and what he came back from. And then obviously Brock Purdy, the greatness that he has shown in these two short seasons, what he's exemplified on the field, what he represents off the field. It's going to be a fun night. You mentioned Alex Smith. I spoke with him about a week ago, and he said playing quarterback for the 49ers is the most prestigious job for the most prestigious organization in the NFL. Do you echo those same sentiments? Well, absolutely. I came in following Joe Montana and Steve Young. Talk about big shoes to fill. And uh, knowing what that position represented for this team, for this organization, that led to five Super Bowls, those two guys. And now, hey, Brock has brought him back to play in one. Can he get one here soon? I know that that was something that Alex would have loved to have been able to compete for. We all would. And uh, we know that this organization what they exemplified through the 80s and 90s, and now what they're doing again in the 2020s is very special. You mentioned Brock. A lot has been said about Brock, you know, being Mr. Irrelevant, becoming a starting quarterback, leading them to the Super Bowl. We all know his story, but in a way, you've kind of went through some adversity as well. You started off in Canada, then you got your opportunity here, and then Brock actually just uh, um, broke one of your records over this last year. How many similarities do you see between yourself and Brock Purdy? And can you relate? He was Mr. Irrelevant, and I was more irrelevant. I mean, not even getting drafted or looked at by the NFL, having to prove my way. But there are definitely some similarities. And, you know, there are things that he does on the field that remind me of what I did on the field. The ability to extend a play, the ability to throw on the run, being a good decision maker, being athletic yet accurate, timing, all the things. And at such a young age, though, I think that's – what is uh, so special about him is he's so more mature than what his age is and he's already experienced some great things on the field uh, but hasn't even tapped into his ceiling yet he's going to still continue to grow improve and how he approaches the game is like a true pro last thing what are you looking forward to most tonight well i think just the opportunity to reconnect with the faithful the fans that's what it's all about we have a game to play. We were able to fulfill a dream playing this game because of them, because they come out, they support us, and uh, just that, to be re able to reconnect with them and then former teammates, see these guys, see how they're doing, how their families are doing, all those things. Awesome. Thank you so much.